Hello and welcome to this video on pulse width modulation, commonly referred to as PWM. What is pulse width modulation? Pulse width modulation is a way to control power to a load. The power delivered to a load is controlled by the duty cycle. The duty cycle is the percentage of the signal being on. Let's take a look at an oscilloscope measurement here. We can see the positive duty cycle when the signal is on and then the negative duty cycle when it's off. The main takeaway, we control power by the duty cycle and not the amplitude of the signal. Pulse width modulation controls the average power to the load. The more the input is on, the more average power is delivered, and the more the input is off, the less power is delivered. 100% duty cycle is maximum power, and 0% duty cycle is minimum power. Also note that you can have a fixed duty cycle and change the frequency. See here I have a 30% duty cycle signal, but I'm varying the frequency. We'll take a look at an example of an Arduino Uno as the source driving an LED load. And here's the test setup that I'll be using. On the left I have a GUI I made to do this testing and I'm using the Arduino Uno pointed out in the bottom right. I'm using the built-in analog write function of the Arduino Uno which outputs our PWN wave at 490 Hertz. Values of the analog write function are between 0 and 255 to control the duty cycle. So you can see here a 1 makes a very short pulse and the light is very dim. Let's change it to 10. At 10 the pulse gets a little wider and we get a little more light of the LED. If I increase the value to 30, we'll continue to grow our pulse width and our LED will become brighter. I can increase it again to 60. We'll go with 127, which is halfway through the full value of 255. So this is a 50% duty cycle where we're positive 50% of the time and then zero 50% of the time. Then we'll go on to 200. We can see here we're more on than we're off, so the LED is much more bright. And then the last value will be 255, which is 100% duty cycle or equivalent to DC voltage. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you've learned more about pulse width modulation. It controls the average power to a load and gives you more control over certain circuits. For example, LEDs, you can control the brightness by the duty cycle and you don't have to change the amplitude of that input signal. So thank you for watching and let me know what you think in the comments section.